Gentlemen, if I could just have your attention just for a couple of moments, I wanted to, uh, first of all, welcome and thank everybody for coming out on this gloomy day to, uh, to inaugurate and kick off our campaign headquarters. I'm not going to get into my whole uh, campaign speech and platform because I don't think that's appropriate when you're having so much fun. Yeah. But I think, I think you know what I'm going to ask of you, and it's not much more than I'm asking of myself. You know this is going to be a very, very hard, long, tedious campaign. But our studies and our demographics and the quiet polling that we've done shows us that we have a great chance. We have, we have a great, great chance to return San Francisco's government to its people. Okay? We have a great chance to give, once again, San Francisco a chance to shine across the country instead of being a laughing stock of the country. This again is going to be the envy of every city in the world. It's only going to happen when you take over your government. And that's what this campaign is all about. My, my platform, I want to be a working mayor who's going to give you an administration that you can be proud of. Okay? When's the last time you were proud of your local government? So many of you, so many people are grumbling about, I don't like the way things are working, I don't like the way things are going. Well, guess what? Now's the time to roll the sleeves and get in and do it. Okay? Are you with me on that? My campaign is going to have five basic tenets, and I'm not going to get into that and give you a civics lesson, lesson right now. That's not what it's about, but it's going to be about promoting jobs. It's going to be about promoting budget responsibility. It's going to be about administrative accountability. It's going to be about clean and safe streets. And lastly, it's going to be about an honest, open, transparent government that is serving you. Your needs first. I've been involved in, in, in city government for over 35 years, and I can attest, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, what is keeping this city back is politics. Politics is out the window. I'm willing at my age to step forward and carry the flag for you, but I need your help because this is going to be a fight. I don't want to go in this fight alone. I need an army with me. I need you to sign up, recruit volunteers, go out there and solicit funds because it's your city. It's your city. If you help me get in, in turn, I will help you. And I promise you a local government, promise you a local government, where substance takes place over form, and where people take place over politics. Okay? That's our motto. There's so many good people here today. I can go right down the line and introduce all of you. But uh, as I look across, you know, this isn't just about San Francisco. This is about renewing the whole Bay Area. I see we got Councilman David Canna, but from Daly, Daly City. David, come on up here. This is it. I feel like I have an eighth child here. This is my former eight. He went on to get elected in Daly City. Great guy. He's doing wonderful things down there representing the people. He's upset the political apple cart, if you will, in Daly City. This is the future right here. David, say something. I'm just happy to, to really be here. Um, you know, sometimes people make endorsements because they just do it for political convenience. I can tell you, and I told Tony, that I'm endorsing him, not just for politics, but because there's an actual relationship with Tony. Tony was, of all the employee, all employers I've ever worked for, Tony was by far the best. And he was the best because he was transparent. When you were wrong, he said, this is your mistake. That's what's lacking in government right now. You can't be everything to everyone. And I think what the city and county of San Francisco has suffered from for a number of years is that every, everyone's tried to be everything to everyone. And it just doesn't work that way, folks. I think the way government works is when you're honest and your integrity, and I can attest to that. One of the other things I look forward to, to working with Tony on is on regional issues. Tony has demonstrated and we're the recipient of Tony's efforts in San Francisco. But the Hardy Park issue in terms of recycled water didn't come from the mayor, it didn't come from the current board of supervisor, it came from Tony and his efforts working with our staff. So Tony, I wish you all the best. You're a true friend, a true gentleman, and by far, you're what San Francisco needs. And in closing, I just want to say this. 
I was reading a magazine today. Do you know the um, per person what the pension debt is in San Francisco? Per person. It will astonish you. It's third in the country. $34,420. That's what each resident would be responsible because of San Francisco's current pension liability. Absolutely scary. And so, again, Tony, you have my support. I like you because you're independent. You're not going to placate. You're not going to kiss everyone's butt. <laughs> so, you know, but you're going to work collaboratively with others, but stand firm and make sure that you get this city back to where it needs to be. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. David Canepa. You know, um, I brought several young guys on uh, during my tenure as a supervisor, and uh, David is the one who was the best of the lot and went on to be successful in politics. One of the promises I make as your mayor, I'm not looking for a second term here, folks. At my age, I just want to get in, clean the shop up, and enjoy a little bit of life. But I will build a farm team of young San Franciscans whose hearts, desires, and talents will be matched with service to the city. That's a shining example. Yeah. Right there. I'm not going to get into the whole uh, platform because we're here to enjoy ourselves. And yes, David, I have a plan for those unfunded liabilities. I hope so. I do. And I, just briefly, I want to tell you what it is because I see a lot of retirees here. The city will, under my administration, honor its promises to those vested in the current system and those retired under the current system. Nothing's going to change for them. But actuarial studies have shown us that if we set up a third level of contributory levels for new hirees, for those coming in through attrition, we can have those, those unfunded liabilities totally, totally eradicated in 10 to 12 years. It's like going to the bank and saying, we have a liability, help me pay it off. That's the only way it's going to work. And that's, that's what's got to happen across the country. Listen, I can stand up here and talk about jobs and how we're going to create them, how we're going to help our youth, uh, how we're going to transform this city into a city once again that's fun, yes. yeah. you know, that has pride, that has honesty, that has integrity, and has loyalty. It's very easy to do if you incorporate those four, four things in it. Again, I, I, I'm too long-winded here for a good afternoon party. Uh, you will see my platform unroll uh, here in the next couple of weeks, and this campaign is coming from the hearts of the people. You know that the, the press, which is part of the establishment, is not going to be kind to us when they find out that, oh boy, this guy represents the voice of San Franciscans who have not had someone in City Hall whose voice has been silenced. They don't like that. So we're going to take the hits, but this campaign is going to be like a wave. And we're going to create this wave and start riding it all the way to November. We're going to be opening offices and and uh, outlets in different parts of the city. You'll see signs go up. And the interesting thing about a campaign like this is once you get something like this started, it's very difficult for the press to ignore. The press, which is part of the machine in power. That's right. They're going to come to the realization that, boy, this is too big. So they're going to start paying us attention. Yes. And they'll bring us to victory. With your help, I need you guys to step forward now and be counted. There's no more grumbling. There's no more talking about the city. It's time to step up and fight. I'll carry the flag, but I need you with me. Okay? Please, please, please go out and talk. Recruit more volunteers. Use our sign-in sheet. We need funds to get our message out, but it's not all about money. It's about people. Thank you very much for coming out here today, folks. Really appreciate it. Jamie Fiskus, my campaign manager. Okay. There's a lot of people who signed in, but I know there's more people here than that have signed in. Do us a favor. We need to know who is on our side um, so we can get you to volunteer. We want this place packed with phone bankers, signs. Um, so if you haven't signed this, please, please, you can sneak a piece of pizza on your way up. But please sign the book. That's our way of keeping track of how big our army is. Thanks for all coming out. All right? Come on up and sign. Thank you.